Abby Yo-Yo by Peter Seeger, illustrated by Michael Hayes. Abby Yo-Yo, based on a South African lullaby and folk story by Pete Seeger, illustrations by Michael Hayes. Abby Yo-Yo. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who played the ukulele. Around town, he'd go clink, clank, clunk, clink, clunk. The grown-ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a magician. He had a magic wand. He'd go zoop, zoop, and make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'd come up to someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something. Zoop! No glass. Someone doing a hard job of work. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Up comes the father with his magic wand. Zoop! No saw. He'd come up to someone about to sit down after a hard day's work. Zoop! No chair. People said to the father, you get out of here too. Take your magic wand and your tricks and you and your son just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. That means they made him live on the edge of town. Now, in this town, they used to tell stories. The old people used to tell stories about giants that lived in the old days. They used to tell a story about a giant called Abby Yo-Yo. They said he was as tall as a tree and could eat people up. Of course, nobody believed the story, but they told it anyway. One day, one day the sun rose blood red over the hill, and the first people got up and looked out their window. They saw a great big shadow in front of the sun, and they could feel the whole ground shake. Women screamed. Ah! Strong men fainted. Run for your lives! Abby Yo-Yo's coming! He comes to the sheep pasture. He grabs a whole sheep. He comes to the cow pasture. He grabs a whole cow. Men yelled, Grab your most precious possessions and run! Run! Just then, the boy and his father woke up. Hey, Pa, what's coming over the fields? Why, son, that's Abby Yo-Yo. Oh, if only I could get him to lie down, I could make him disappear. The boy says, come with me, Pa. And he grabs his father by one hand, and the father gets his magic wand, and the boy gets his ukulele, and they run across the fields. People yelled, don't go near him. He'll eat you alive. There was Abby Yo-Yo. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. And he had slobbery teeth because he didn't brush them. And he had stinky feet because he didn't wash them. Matted hair because he didn't comb it. And he raised up his claws. And just then, the boy whips out, whips out his ukulele. Abby yo-yo, Abby yo-yo. Well, you know, the giant had never heard a song about himself before, and a foolish grin spread over his face, and the giant started to dance. Abby yo-yo, Abby yo-yo. And the boy went faster. Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo, be yo yo, Abby yo yo, be yo yo. And the giant, oh, he got out of breath. He staggered and he fell down flat on the ground. Up steps the father. Zoop. Zoop! People looked out the windows. 
He's gone. Abby Yo-Yo's disappeared. The people ran across the fields. They lifted the boy and his father up on their shoulders, and they say, Come back to town. Bring your darn ukulele. We don't care anymore. And they all sang, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, B-Yo-Yo, B-Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo, Abby Yo-Yo. Abby yo yo be yo yo be yo yo Abby yo yo I hope you enjoyed the story